was somewhat able to get it to work right. So let me show y'all real quick. It's the thing I've been working on for a while. If you get the download, um, little starter thing here, you'll spawn right here. You get some stuff here. There you go, frail. Enter it. Look, oh, kind of glitchy. I got some others here, testers. These are out of order because they're not up and running yet. Um, got some, well, supposed to be a lever in here, which you can put right there, which opens that and moves one of those. Maybe it's over here. Uh, that's supposed to be closed right there. Thank you. Alright, but back to this. Go ahead and put your item in here. Which is either a um, weapon or a tool at the present time. You pick your enchantments, which I'm going to go for mending and unbreaking. You add it. You can either use this button or any of the three up there. That. Two clicks. Then you can pick the other one, which is unbreaking. Now you don't have to hit add, you can just leave it like that. Then you flip the lever. There you go. You're enchanted. <laughs> See? I know I got the numbers off. I know that's supposed to be unbreaking two, but it's set up as unbreaking one. Kind of weird. Let's do a sword. Let's go with a looting. Mending. Whoops. And of course, I'm breaking. All three are on there. Okay. Now just to show you. Let's do looting. Add it. And let's do... On breaking. This time I'm going to add it and I'm going to use this button. So it's the same. Oops. Ugh. Now I'm going to punch it in there.
Then, look at that. I'll show you the setup real quick. Go ahead and get my lever. Okay, so a little setup. I'm sure you've seen it before. I change up a few things, like the way it places the stone. Uh, what it does is when you select it, it clicks it, it turns the spot that has air into a cobble, or into a bedrock, I mean. When you select it, add it, basically, it then turns any bedrock within this line to redstone. Then you add another one. Any air block gets turned into bedrock. So if there's a red block there, it won't be changed. It before it goes and enchants it, it turns all bedrock into redstone, which activates it. So when the sword or item reaches here and gets onto an armor stand. Any item on the armor stand gets enchanted with all the enchantments you selected. It then gets broken via arrow. The armor stand and arrow get separated from the item. The item goes into a minecart. The minecart first, you know, travels this way. Up here and here, drops the item, gets dropped, comes this way. To there, waits for the enchantment to happen, picks up the item, gets sent this way, back to the beginning. And as it goes across, here it drops it into this elevator. It's kind of weird. I have a backup, you know, reset, which I'm not sure how I got that rigged. <laughs> I forgot. It's a little wonky, I know. I'm still working on it. But I'm going to have several enchantment areas. You can enchant. You have an enchantment here that you set up. Different ones. Different ones here. Different enchantments here. Different levels. Different, you know, setups. <sighs> Each one will have its own level system, which will be regulated over here. Which each area that gets selected, these will change as well. I'll have a setup for that. Probably extend it out here some. But yeah, this is the ultimate enchantment table thing I'm making. Vending machine. <laughs> I probably might add a coin system, like to pay for it. Yeah, to put the item in, just the money. Something, you know. Some kind of rig. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead, turn this off. But yeah, I plan on setting this up. I'll put out world maps, you know, um, templates. You can take a look at it, tweak it. Just, only thing I ask is give me credit, you know, <laughs> and send me a copy. So I can see what you do to it, you know. Maybe get some ideas off of you. You can get some ideas off of me. And I'll work together on this project here. Um, this is not Russ's job. It's a overtime project, pretty much. Um, 
to let you know if you're first time on this map, you will be teleported directly to here, whether you like it or not, because of the little setup I have over here. It's just a little TP setup. In fact, if you want to know what it does, first you um, test for anyone, not admin. It then TPs you to that location. Not admin. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Then it issues you a tag admin. Or whatever you want to put on it. That's how I have that set up. Well, I'm Giggles. Just for Giggles, I hope you enjoy. Um, uh, boom. Yeah. Okay. Um, end video.